Medicines for Children. Practical and reliable advice about giving medicine to your child. How to give liquid medicine using an oral syringe from a bottle fitted with a bung. Liquid medicines are probably the most common type of medicine you will give to your child. It is very important that you are able to measure out the correct amount of medicine to give to your child. This film will show you how to give a liquid medicine to your child using an oral syringe and a medicines bottle fitted with a rubber bung. You should watch the film all the way through to the end before giving medicine for the first time. To administer this medicine, you will need the bottle of liquid medicine fitted with a bung, an oral syringe and a drink for after the medicine to take the taste away. Wash your hands with soap and hot water before starting. The first thing to do is check the label to make sure you know which medicine you are about to give. This is especially important if you have more than one medicine to give. The label will have the name of the medicine, the strength, the amount to give and your child's name. For older children, you can explain what you are going to do to help reassure them. Getting the right dose into the syringe can be a tricky business. In this case, the dose being given to the child is 2.5 mil. Some medicine bottles come fitted with bungs, which fit securely into the top of the bottle. There is a small hole in the bung into which you put the tip of the syringe. Using the bung allows you to turn the medicine bottle upside down to draw out the correct amount of medicine without spilling any. Firstly, you need to shake the bottle well and remove the cap. You need to ensure that the syringe is clear of any liquid before administration. This happens automatically when using a medicine bottle with a bung. Pull back the plunger on the syringe so that the top of the black ring is on the dose you need to give. Push the tip of the syringe into the hole in the middle of the rubber bung. Turn the whole bottle with the syringe upside down. Slowly push the plunger into the syringe. This will push air into the bottle. Pull the plunger back until you've drawn the right amount of liquid into the syringe. In this case, we are using 2.5 mil of medicine. Turn the bottle back up the other way, then take the syringe out of the bung. You need to check again that you have the correct amount of medicine. If it is too much, you can squirt some back into the bottle. Once you are sure you have the correct amount of the medicine, you can give it to your child. For babies and young children, it is often easier to have them sitting on your lap so that you can support them while you're giving the medicine. Older children should be sitting or standing up. Place the tip of the syringe in your child's mouth and gently squirt in the medicine. For babies, it's often best to squirt the medicine down the side of the mouth next to the cheek so they do not choke. If you need to give a large amount of medicine, then it's best to give it slowly in small amounts. Older children may prefer to give the medicine themselves. You may want to have a drink ready to take the taste of the medicine away. Some medicines can be mixed with a small amount of juice or milk. Your pharmacist can give you advice about this. Once you have given the dose, wash the syringe straight away using fresh soapy water. Draw the plunger in and out in the soapy water several times. Then rinse the syringe in clean water in the same way. If the medicine bottle has a rubber bung, you can usually keep it in the bottle all the time and put the cap over it between doses to keep it clean. You just need to wipe the top of the bung with a damp paper towel each time after you've given the medicine. Some bungs need to be removed from the bottle and washed before and after each use, but you can check this with your pharmacist. If you have any questions about this or are not sure about anything, then ask your doctor, pharmacist or nurse for advice. Medicines for Children is a partnership project of the national children's charity WellChild, the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health and the Neonatal and Paediatric Pharmacists Group. You can find our information leaflets and more films about giving medicines to children on our website www.medicinesforchildren.org.uk.